Tonight, the mother of a fallen Memphis police officer is remembering her son, and so too are dozens who gathered to honor his service and sacrifice. Daryl Adams died this past weekend. He was run over while investigating a crash on the interstate. Hello, I'm Greg Her Stephanie is off tonight. WRG's Luke Jones is live with what Officer Adams' mom had to say. And you know, Luke, it sounds like she was really touched by this tribute. Really touched by the tribute and really touched by everything her son accomplished in his life. And you know, she's the first to admit she never wanted him to become a police officer precisely because of all of the risks involved. But she says she's proud of him, that he achieved his dreams and knows he dies after a life well lived. Balloons released in honor of a fallen Memphis police officer. 34-year-old Daryl Adams was working a crash on I-40 Saturday when an 18-wheeler hit him. Almost a week later, emotions still raw as family and fellow officers gather at the Austin P precinct where Adams worked. I'm going to miss my baby. He's the first one. And he everything. His mother mourning her firstborn, who as a boy growing up in Binghampton, dreamed of one day becoming a police officer. In 2016, his dream came true when he joined the Memphis Police Department. He didn't let Binghampton get him. He made it out of there. And he, he moved on. Adams leaves behind a wife, a promising career, and plenty of friends on the force. Friends rocked by his sudden death on the heels of so many others. Our officers are hurting. Uh, this is the third officer that we've had to die in the line of duty this year. The fourth officer overall that we've lost this year. Officers now looking down. I'll miss you, my buddy. Their brothers and sisters in blue send their love. And I promise you was an old man. As for the truck driver who hit Adams, we're told he was detained at the scene but no criminal charges have been filed. Live downtown tonight, Luke Jones, WREG News Channel 3. All right, all the best to his mom and the rest of his family tonight. Luke, thanks.